This is the Flix. It is a Bluetooth boombox, but it is also a projector, which makes it an all-in-one battery-operated solution if you want to have a backyard movie night, a Super Bowl up on the garage door, or even if you're glamping. Uh, I checked this out online. It was a Kickstarter project, but you can now order one yourself. The question is, how well does it perform? How good does it sound? How bright is the picture? That's what we're going to answer for you today. One of the more impressive things about the Flix is its connectivity. You'll see there's an HDMI port right up front. Uh, you can connect nearly anything with that, including a Roku streaming stick, a Fire TV stick, or a Chromecast, because, as you see, there's a USB port here. Not only will that charge various devices, but it allows you to power those streaming sticks. So you can throw pretty much any streaming service up on this projector in your backyard, so long as you have Wi-Fi. There is an auxiliary input with a 3.5 millimeter jack in case you need it. And there's a headphone output. I can't imagine using headphones, but you could use that as a line out for another speaker system if you wanted to. To focus the projector, you've got a pretty slim amount adjustment uh, right here on the front. You just turn this dial to kind of sharpen things up. Onboard controls are pretty simple, although you do have separate power buttons for movie mode where it actually activates the projector or just Bluetooth speaker mode where all you're gonna do is play music. This is also how you would make any adjustments to the brightness, contrast, and volume of the speaker itself. Flix also comes with a simple card style remote which will let you power on the projector or the Bluetooth speaker, adjust the volume, and select the input, but any of those other controls I mentioned before, you'll need to go straight to the unit. On the bottom are two adjustable feet so that you can angle the projector upwards if necessary. There's also this weird master power switch on the bottom. If you don't turn this on, the projector and Bluetooth speaker will not power up. So here's the Flix in action in a reasonably well light controlled room. We've got a lot of drapes down in here, and we've darkened it up as much as we can, but there's still some coming through. And as you can see, uh, it looks a little bit washed out. This is not a blazingly bright projector, and it's definitely best used in a very dark environment. The way they market it on the website, though, you think it was scorchingly bright. It's not. You definitely want to control your light, tame it down as much as possible, or better yet, just use it at night. As for the sound quality, I don't know of any other projector that sounds anywhere near as good as this does. That's because it's actually a Bluetooth speaker, a fully fledged Bluetooth speaker. Now, I wouldn't say that it's a super hi-fi speaker, but it's definitely more than enough to get the job done for a backyard movie party. So is the Flix a good deal? Well, there's two versions here. You got a $600 and a $700 version that does six hours or eight hours max battery life on a charge. Um, I think for a pretty bright projector with a decent loud Bluetooth speaker, all in one portable unit, yeah, it kind of makes sense. But bear in mind, you've got other solutions that'll do the same thing. This is the ZTE S Pro 2. Not only is it a nice compact little Pico projector, it's also a portable tablet and a Wi-Fi hotspot all for about $500. It's not as bright as the Flix, but it does a lot more and it's a lot more portable. Add a Bluetooth speaker and you've got a very comparable solution with a little bit more utility. But if you're looking for an all-in-one device you can take nearly anywhere and turn pretty much any spot into a movie theater, the Flix is really the only one in the game doing this right now. And I think it's a pretty clever little device.